Hallelujah. I know you're in this place. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. My God. And when you can't feel the Lord, something is wrong. Yes. When you can't feel the Lord, yes. something is wrong. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. When you can feel him yes. and you know the spirit. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Let me go into a message some time. Yes. Glory to God. Bishop Green was saying about my family is here, amen. I like to introduce them after, amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Praise I thank the Lord for them coming amen. to be with me. Uh -huh. And I thank the Lord for Megafest. Yes, that Elvis, amen. Yes. The Lord put on his heart to have a Megafest. Yes. And yes. asked me to be the speaker. Yes. Amen. amen. I ain't going to tell y'all the history of what, how the time I'm getting to get over here. Yes. But the song said, can't nobody. Do you like Jesus? Yes. You know why? Because he's your friend. Yes. Hallelujah. When God call you, amen, and you really know God call you, yes. you got to go. Yes. You, you can't let nobody hold you back. All right. You got to go for the Lord. Yes. If God call you, you got to go. Right. Can I get a witness, somebody? Yes. Hallelujah. You can't stay all shut up in four walls. Yes. No. You got to go out to the hedges and the highways yes. to compel them to come in. Yes. You can't stay in your phone wall. Right. Hallelujah. And be all comfortable with yourself. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. Somebody say, you got to show yourself friendly to this thing. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. I know I'm okay, but I'm good. And I'm glad. <laughs> good God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. You have your Bibles. You can go with me to the book of St. John. Amen. And you'll be finding me in the fifth chapter. Amen. I thank the Lord for, again, for Pastor Brenda Gilbert and her companion. Amen. Amen. In this beautiful, fine church here. Amen. 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 I tell you, God is good. Yes, is. Amen. And when you find St. John, you can say, I got it. If you ain't got it, say, wait on me. <laughs> oh, St. John, the fifth chapter. Starting with the first verse, and I'm going to the, the ninth verse. Amen. If you got it, you say amen. 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 So we're talking about... Uh, Megafest and Elvis was saying the theme of Megafest is the storm is over. All right. All right. Amen. The storm is over. Lord and the song that she sung is going to tie in with what I'm going to be speaking about. And they're going to say, Can't nobody do it like Jesus. All right. All right. Hallelujah. And the theme is the storm is over. Yes. So I'm going to read the first verse to the ninth. After this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, yes. which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, yes. having five porches. Yes. In these lay a great multitude of imponent folks, a blind, heart, wither, waiting for the movement of the water. My God. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool yes. and troubled the water. Yes. Who's in ever then first after the trembling of the water yes. stepped in and was made whole My of whatsoever God. disease he had? Yes. And a certain man was there which had an infirmity thirty and eight years. Yes. When Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he said unto him, Will thou be made whole? Yes. The important man answered him, Sir, I have no man. When the water is troubled to put me into the pool, but while I am coming, another step it down before me. Jesus said unto him, Rise, take up thy bed and walk. And immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked. And on the same day was the Sabbath. Amen. I'm going to stop there for the first time. And we know that this theme is the storm is over. In this word of St. John, we find that Jesus is in Jerusalem where a crowd of important people with conditions at the pool of Bethesda waiting to go down into the pool for their healing. Because they know at a certain season an angel of the Lord goes down into the pool to trouble the water for the healing. And whosoever comes and steps down in the pool was made whole of the condition that they had. These crowd of component people wanted to get rid of the ailing conditions that they've been dealing with. Yes. So they are ready to go down in the pool for the healing. Yes. I can't blame them. Lord, you if you got a sickness and stuff like that, 
you and you know, hallelujah, that something is, is uh, it came up to, to help you, and then the pool is right there to go down and you're healing. You're going to be down there too. Right. Right. Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. 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 They are ready. They want to get rid of the troubling condition. Now, we were talking about this man, an important man here. He had a, a condition for 38 long years. Yeah. 38 long years. Yeah. Amen. And they want to be free of these sickness. So there they go going down in the pool. I can't imagine them being so excited knowing that they all are going to get healed from their troubling condition. Can you imagine them people going down there and getting ready to go? Yeah. To all, you know, because was, they were important. You know, they were... They had all these conditions. Uh -huh. There was all, and I heard Mr. Green was talking about your condition that you had. Yeah. Praise the Lord, and how God came in to deliver you. Yeah. Amen. 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 Nobody don't want to be sick. Amen. In this COVID-19 that we're going through, all right. nobody, they won't, we, we don't even want that. All we got these masses and all this stuff that we, we got. But glory to God. Yeah. Amen. So they're going down to be healed from the troubling condition. Well, but a certain man that was there also, he was suffering from infirmity for 38 long years. He wanted to get in the pool also for his healing. Yes. But with his condition, uh -huh. it was so hard for him to get himself to the pool. Yes. Could you imagine that man being you know, there for 38 long years yes. and he's sitting around here and you know that the angel went down in the pool, uh -huh. trouble the water uh -huh. for all your troubles all your sickness, for everything that you stand in need of God. Because the angel of the Lord, not the angel of the devil, the angel of the Lord went down and troubled that water. What do I mean when I say trouble the water? How did you know you got baptized? And you went down in that water and you and all your sins was down, left in the, supposed to be left down there. Supposed to be. Supposed to be. Supposed to be. You were supposed to go down there and come back. Go ahead, come on now. <laughs> Can I get it with y'all? No, y'all follow me? Amen. Hallelujah, glory to God. So, down in the pool, you know, sometimes we, you can go for a refreshing in the pool. Yes. If I want to go down for a refreshing, because when I come from Mr. Uh, uh, Tennessee, he always say, I said, I've been time. He said, You can go down for another refreshing. I said, You can go down there. But you go down there, you don't be playing that water. Because <laughs> you may not come back up. The same way you went down. What about an apostle? Am I right? Okay. All right. Amen. But anyhow, that man, amen, hallelujah, he had an infirmity in for 38 years, long years. And I believe this man was sick of being sick with that condition. Can you imagine how he must be feeling going through this ordeal? Long time he's been like this. He's very despondent. When the others are being healed of their condition and he can't even get to the pool? Lord have mercy. I feel for him. Well, <laughs> that is a sad situation for this man. But look here. Jesus saw this man in this condition and knew that this man was in this condition for a long time. And Jesus asked the man if he wanted to be healed. The man never answered the question that Jesus asked him. Jesus asked him, said, will thou, be, will thou be made whole? But he come back and answer Jesus and say, Lord. But he never answered the question. He started telling Jesus about his trouble situation that there's nobody to help me get in the pool when the water is troubled. He was saying that when he tried to get down there, the other was stuff in front of him. You know how that go. Everybody want to be on top. Nobody don't want to be at the end. Just like in the school, I'm, I'm, I'm working in the school. Everybody can't be first, everybody can't. Somebody got to be first, somebody got to be last, right? right, that's right. They said, no, I'm first. You're lying. No, I'm first. I'm first. What? And now they got these uh, dividers that you have. And we said it with the name, we got to have with numbers because it's so much, you know, they, you call the name, they don't want to come in and get the a line up on the playground and whatnot. So you have to Scour the names, then you call a name off. That's not how you pronounce my name. Well, similar to it. Amen. <laughs> similar to it. But anyhow, let me get back here. Hallelujah. And Jesus asked him a question. And he, you know, but he's telling him, say, nobody's there to help me get in the water. 
But Jesus already knows the answer, but he just asked me it anyhow. Jesus knows everything. He knows what we need what we, right. and what we want and all that. So Jesus goes on telling this man to rise, take up your bed, and walk. All right. When Jesus comes to your rescue, and you know that you've been praying for your condition, and you just can't seem to shake it off. Amen. But Jesus told this man that he was lying there for 38 long years. He said, take up your bed and walk. Jesus came to his man rescue with healing powers and healed his body. This man was immediately made whole. He took up his bed and walked after 38 long years. I said, well, what a mighty God that we serve here today. Hallelujah. A God that can do anything but faith. It don't take all day and all night for God to touch your body. Can I get a witness, somebody? This man can say, hallelujah, that when Jesus came and told to take up his bed and walk, he did what Jesus said. But wait a minute now. The Bible says 38 long years. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But when, when, when the man began to do what Jesus said, he looked at himself and said, Wow, look at me now. Right. Watch out for me now. Right. I ain't got to have nobody to help me. Yeah. Hey, hey. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The theme of Megafest. This man's storm was over. Hallelujah. 38 long years. But God came on the scene. He can tell you that the storm is over. When Jesus come in and touch your body. Hallelujah. One touch. When Jesus will do it, you'll make everything all right. Because can't nobody do you like Jesus. Hallelujah. He can deliver. Set you free. He can come in. Hallelujah. Don't take all night. Hallelujah. What he's done for others, he do the same thing for you. Can I get a witness? I can hear this man say, God did it for him. Did God did it for you? If you got a storm in here tonight, anyone here with any trouble storm, let Jesus take care of them. If you give it to Jesus, your storms can be over. Yes. And you can say, the storm is over. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. The storm can be over for you. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. I hear the Holy Ghost saying, if you give it to God, yes. open up your heart yes. and let him come in. Yes. Your storm can be over. Yes. You got a heartache. Yes. You got pain. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. You got children. They don't listen to you. Yeah. You got people that talk about you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. But God, He can work it out. Yeah. Your storm yeah. can be over. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Give it to Jesus. Yeah. Try 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 Jesus. Yeah. You don't try Him. Jesus, you try him, let him come in, no storm, 
I like to say when I was going down to South Carolina for vacation in August, and I think y'all had the storm up here, and we was getting back to come back, and they were saying that y'all can't come back because it's a storm up in New Jersey, and it's going down your way. So when we coming back, we make calls in Virginia say, how's the weather? So they say, it's all right. So we coming to Virginia, everything was good. So we call back to my sister Benjamin and say, how the weather feel? She said, oh, it ain't nothing about this. It's drizzling, it ain't nothing much of what they're talking about. But we was all down there thinking that we're gonna get that storm and we're gonna have to wait. But as we were proceeding and coming, and it was like it was nothing. And then we got to, I think it was in Baltimore, a little rain dropped. But after we passed that, smooth still. And I said, Lord, hallelujah. I didn't even know everyone was gonna talk about megaphones. I said, thank you, Lord, the storm is over. Cause they had it up here. But God will take, he, he will do it for you. He can make your storm come to a halt. Just like what Corey T was talking about the wind last night. He said, peace be still. Yeah. When God speak, yeah. when God speak, right. hallelujah. Yeah. When God speak, God speak, hallelujah, that's all you need. Yeah. When he say, I got you, yeah. believe him. Because yeah. he got you. Yeah. Oh, glory yeah. to God. He had us, hallelujah, because I was a little uneasy because I didn't want to, you know, stay on the road and, and, and whatnot, stuff like that. You know, we got to come back at a designated time. But God had it all in control. Yeah. God can have it all in control, yeah. Pastor. He had it all in control for me. Yeah. Yeah. I was going through situations, this situation. Yeah. But God said, yeah. why do you serve me? Uh -huh. And you don't trust me. When you serve the Lord, all you got to do is trust him. I know sometimes your trust get a little shaky. And your faith get a little shaky too. But that's when you got to get down on your knees and say, Lord, help my unbelief. You got to ask God to help you. Everybody's human. Just because you're an apostle, a pastor, evangelist. It doesn't matter. We all go through situations. Yeah. And the best thing about it is because when you've been born again and received the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, that's it. But, but we, you know, we, 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 we let self get in the way. And it's hard sometimes when self get in the way. And you got to crucify that self. You got to tell yourself, get out of here. You gotta get out of here. Right. I don't need you here. That's right. Hallelujah, but suffer sure get in the way. And get you all torn down and you forget all about who God is. Yeah. And then you gotta remember, say, the Holy Ghost, you got a Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost will tell you, say, uh -huh. <laughs> what, you, what you got me for? Amen, exactly. I'm a leader in the God. That's right. You told you don't go that way? You make sure it's the Holy Ghost. Uh-huh, uh -huh. that's right. Cause you know, the, you, you know, you can get Itchy ears, uh -huh. yeah. and you can they can play with you, uh -huh. but you gotta make sure you know who God is. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta know, make sure that you turn in that ear, that ear. You gotta know which one you uh -huh. in the wrong ear. <laughs> Get out. Uh -huh. <laughs> Praise the Lord, everybody. Yeah. I, I feel good in the Lord. Hallelujah, glory Amen. to God. And then this girl told me on the job. Just told me on Friday. She said, uh, Linda. She said, I gotta tell you something. She was worried about. Uh, her husband, her husband had passed away. And she just can't seem to get the clothes out the house and she just carrying all them, them things on her. And, and he'd been gone for almost two years now. And she was worrying. I said, girl, you better just let it go. She went to the doctor. The doctor told her, say, that um, I can't do nothing with your eye right now because your pressure's up. Amen. So I was telling her, I told her about two weeks before she told me Friday. I said, you gotta let it go. Amen. You stop eating all that pork and stuff you're eating. Come on now. I said, you just got to get yourself together and stop worrying. Right. She told, and I told her, I told her, and she on video, I'm gonna tell her, watch the video. I said, 
you going to come? I said, I got to go meditate. I said, I'm going to use that testimony and tell them what you said. She said, Linda, she said, I went to the doctor and my pressure, I don't tell you, no, I said, she said, my pressure was 122. What? I said, girl, what you talking about? She said, now I can go Monday, which is tomorrow, and get it done. She said, because the pressure is going down. I said, your storm is over, huh? I said, you know what? I said, that's what I got to preach about Sunday. I said, you should come up here to 292. No, I got to preach. I said, but I'm going to tell them about what you said. Amen. About when I, you know, when she told me about when she was going through, but when she went to the doctor, the doctor said, I can do it now because it's down, 122. She Amen. said, girl, she said, I thank the Lord. Amen. I said, I know what you're talking about. Your storm is over. I said, I'm going to use that and tell people that your storm was over. Glory to God. When God do it, it's done. I told her, I said, you didn't even know I got to come and speak about this. But I'm going to use what you told me. Hallelujah, because it's a part of the thing that we got to preach about or manifest. I said, oh, and I said, your storm is over, huh? I said, the storm is over. She said, yeah. Remember that whatever you stand in need of, Amen. your storm can be over. Yes. It's manifest tonight. Amen. And this and one will give here tonight. And friend, if you got any illness, you want to come, let God deliver you, set you free from whatever. I don't know whether you got any illness or anything. But where you at too, God can deliver you. Yes. He can set you free. Yes. Amen. 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 It's nothing too hard for the Lord. I done tried them so many times. I'm not even supposed to be here. But God. But God. But God. And, he, and I said, Lord, if you do this and you do that for me, what I'm doing right now, I promise him. I promise him, Apostle, that if he would do it, for me, glory to God that I will serve you for the rest. For the rest. Thank you, Lord. And I'm here today. That's why I said these whole walls. I don't want to hold me back. God is good to me. He brought me from death door. And when God did it for me, 
Don't let it hold you back. Don't let it hold you back. Yeah.